Look right there, guys. These are the bubbles. In order to save him, we're gonna have to pop that eye. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today, I saw this beautiful, rare Emperor Snapper at the store, but upon looking at him, I realized something was wrong. I mean, he couldn't swim right, he had a massive bubble on his eye, and he ultimately looked like he was gonna die, and I wanted to help the guy. So I asked my homie that works there if we could take him for free, and they let us. I acclimated him, got him in the tank, and I was honestly just really sad to see him moving around like this. I mean, the fish was obviously suffering, and it's such a beautiful fish. Look at the patterns, look at the colors on it. I really wanted to keep this fish, and so I was left with one big question at the end of the day, and that is, why is his eye so disgustingly messed up? And so, to find the answer to that, I went to Google. And what I found is that the eye is caused by Popeye disease. Seems like a fitting name. I read through some of the causes and what they recommended for treatments. And I tried raising the temperature, didn't do anything. I kept my water crystal clear, I medicated the aquarium, and nothing seemed to get the bubble out of this fish's eye. Now, this is one of the more interesting things about the aquarium hobby is that there is not that much research done on these fish, the diseases, or how to cure them. And so what happened here is I had to invent my own surgery. I knew that this fish cannot swim, it has a super infected eye, and I need to pop that eye if I want to give the fish any chance of moving normally again, swimming, eating, and living a normal life. Now, during my research, I also found that people have actually killed their fish doing similar surgeries, and that means that I'm going to have to be great. So, guys, like the video right now, one like equals one prayer, and let's get into it. Now for the tools I'm going to be using. First tool I'm going to be using is this bobby pin right here. And what this is going to do is it's going to puncture the eye and it's actually going to break that barrier. And that way we can actually diffuse that air bubble and he'll hopefully be able to swim again normally. And that's going to prolong his life. That's the main thing that I want to get out of this fish surgery. Now, I have this as well. These are some tongs. I have them just in case to move him. And finally, the most important thing you need is clove oil. Now, a lot of people use this to humanely euthanize their own fish. And... Uh, what it does in small doses is it'll actually put your fish to sleep. So with this guy, I'm going to put a couple drops in here and it should put him to sleep uh, in a short time. Okay, clove oil going in. I'm going to put one, two, three. And we're going to let it go for a few minutes and see how he's doing. Guys, his eye is right there. What we need to accomplish in this surgery is we need to remove the barrier between air and water, which basically means that we need to pop that bubble. And after we do that, we have a whole procedure. Oh, he's jumping, guys. He's jumping. He's jumping. That means that the clove oil is starting to hit him. Okay guys, so my fish is starting to go to sleep now and we have a damp towel right here. Your towel has to be damp just so that they can stay alive when they're out of the water for a short time. Okay guys, I'm taking him out now. Oh, he's sharp. Very sharp. Okay, there. There he goes. He is on the towel now. Look right there, guys. These are the bubbles. And I am going to pop that exterior bubble right there. And I'm hoping that it does enough to save him and it'll diffuse. Now I'm just gonna pop this bubble.
There we go. Punctured it right there. Okay. We're going to get him back in the tank now. Okay hey guys, getting him back in the tank now. Come on buddy. Oh. Oh no no no. No no no. Stay with me. I'm gonna get him under the hood. Stay with me bud. Stay with me, yes. I can feel him starting to kick. Guys, he's swimming. Coming back, guys. He's coming back. There we go, buddy. There we go. There we go. Yes. Yes, you're back. You're back. Guys, look at that. He's swimming. He is swimming again. I got scared there for a minute. Uh, I was very nervous that, you know, he wouldn't come back immediately after the clove oil because if you guys know anything about anesthesia, you know, once you go under, it's not a guarantee that you will wake up, but hopefully he'll turn around in a second so you can see that eye, okay. Okay, so if you look closely, you can see that the exterior bubble was actually completely removed and now there is just a little bit of excess tissue on that eye, but because we were actually able to get that air out of there, he can swim completely normally now, he can eat completely normally now, and that's a huge step in the right direction for this fish. He only has those little bubbles in the inner eye, and hopefully with time and with medication and higher temperatures, we can get those little bubbles to come out too. But just for some proof that this guy's doing great, watch what happened while Malcolm was recording some clips of him. This is crazy. Oh, oh my oh, god! I saw it. Oh, oh, that was horrible. You saw it live. Oh, that you was saw horrible. It. Oh, you oh. saw it live. That sucks, though. I thought he was going to, but damn. I didn't really think he was going to eat him like Shit. that. It's okay, good. guys, so what? the Emperor Snapper literally just ate this fish that we he had in the quarantine tank with him. He his, his mouth open. What do you mean? He can't fit it on in his mouth. I guess he's, he's trying to bite his face off. Right oh my god, that was Look. brutal, dude. That was a, the most brutal thing. I saw. You guys can tell, like, we weren't prepared for this. The tank's not even clean. Like, yeah, I wasn't uh, ready to take a video. Not prepared at all. Um, I thought that but was like the angle. obviously, you guys can tell he made a full recovery if he's taken down fish like this. This guy literally just took oh, down this damselfish, and it looks like a mini one of him. And that was kind of big too. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's a little. <laughs> It's a dude, what the? How what is it the? alive? Does he have both his eyes? Yo, what? Okay, what? He would not get taken down. That fish is a beast.